further and further away. Mm -hmm. But I think I think part of the problem is they're they're trying to think of a new name because Jean's mom called them up and she heard that they were originally going to call it Head and she said, Jean, I don't think that's really too nice. You know, you should change it. <laughs> and you know, Jean, of course, being a mama's boy, he's not a right mom. You know. Plus, they didn't want to get it confused with that uh, really bad monkeys movie, right? Head. That's I just that's. That's funny. Gene Simmons' mom calls him up. And says, you can't do that. <laughs> yes. So, yes. Where, were, where were you the last 22 years, mom? <laughs> well, she also told him not to stick out his tongue. It's a good thing he <laughs> didn't listen. <laughs> Crazy. Well, I'll tell you what, let's go to um, another uh, concert footage thing. And okay. we'll come back and do some magazine stuff. And then we'll go to another kiss, kiss video. So, what do you guys want to see that what do you think? concert footage? Um, some of the more interesting things they did was. Uh, they actually did a song each from uh, Paul's and Gene's solo album mm -hmm. from back in 78. Uh, Paul did Goodbye. Goodbye. He was going to do War Machine, but then he realized that wasn't on his solo album. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, I think he even mentioned that uh, before he started the song. But yeah. He did Goodbye, and Gene did uh, See, See You Tonight. Tonight. Okay. So we have clips of both those if you want to. Yeah, let's do that. Or right, let's show a little bit of uh, both of those, and then we'll go into yet another Kiss video, which is probably at this point... Oh look, it's Domino. Oh, it's Domino, yeah. And as you can see, yeah, right there on the label it says Domino. Okay, so we're gonna do Domino and uh, more KASR video, KISS convention coverage. Later. This is the last song on my solo album. So, yeah, the last song on my solo album, War Machine.
be Diablo. <laughs> Thank God, huh? I'm not either. Neither are you. No. Am I? Yeah, unfortunately I am. I'm Bobby Diablo. <laughs> Welcome to KSR Video, this KISS convention thing, and uh, look at Larry and Steven. And for the last hour and a half or so, we've been bringing you KISS stuff. Or an hour, whatever. So however it works out. Let's time, go. Time sure flies. It does. It's amazing. Let's get back to some stuff here. We've got what? Um, what, do, what do we have, Larry? Uh, well, when uh, the band is on tour, obviously they uh, have various pastimes that they like to partake of uh, when they're in the hotel rooms and things. Yeah. But Pickers, some, of, some of the more creative things they do is they actually write, write songs while they're you know on the road. Okay. And uh, what they have here is some original uh, scripted out versions of the songs written on hotel stationery. Okay. Different hotels they would be staying in at the time. This is it with the Holiday Inn? Where? Uh, Evansville, North Indiana. That was the Man of a Thousand Faces original lyrics. How bizarre. They have those from uh, different places around. I was, it says that said Eddie and Ad Alex Van Halen on it. Why, why did it say that, Stephen? Uh, because when Gene initially cut the demo for uh, Christine 16 for mm -hmm. the Love Gun record, he uh, he just discovered Van Halen at that time, and so the story somehow goes that he just asked them to like play on this song to do a demo with him. Mm -hmm. So the original demo for Christine 16 has Eddie and Alex Van Halen playing on it, and supposedly Ace Frehley had copied Eddie's licks in the solo about note for note, uh -huh. and apparently that demo they said will surface on the Kiss box set whenever that comes out in the next couple years, whenever they're going to do that. Whenever we get the next studio album out. Yeah. <laughs> Somewhere way down the what, here 2000 at this point. Something like that, right. Oh, man. So you got some early photos of the guys in their previous bands? Yeah, here's a poster advertising a band called Bullfrog Beer. That was a band that Gene was in way back when. There's a picture of him holding his Paul McCartney bass with his big ears sticking out. Oh, my God. Because <laughs> before he had a big tongue to stick out, he had big ears. There's one of Paul's early bands. Kind of hard to see, but he's on the uh, left hand side. He's Ringo Starr. <laughs> exactly. The that thing with the tongue, it just didn't, you know, the ears didn't seem to really get the girls going. He had to think of some other part of his body, and since you couldn't, you know, use an organ, he had, well, that, maybe the tongue, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We took a tongue extender course. There you go. Yeah. Worked out with ways. The, uh, the band that uh, Paul and Gene were in immediately before Kiss was Wicked Lester. Okay. And uh, they didn't play too many shows, they didn't perform. They didn't play out that often. These are some photos of uh, one of the actual Wicked Lester shows. Huh? How long? How long were they together in that Wicked Lester? A year? Two? Yeah, it wasn't too long. I don't think it was two years. It might have been a year or less. It was. It's a real short period of time, and they actually recorded a record for Epic Records. Mm -hmm. And uh, then they'd scrapped the whole thing, and they started up a new band, which turned into Kiss. And by the time their second record came out, they were starting to gain, you know, some popularity, but still nothing really sales-wise. Mm -hmm. And Epic uh, had seen that, you know, there's potential in these guys. They're going to get bigger and bigger. And they threatened to put the record out. And the only thing that really bothered them was on the back cover was a picture of Gene and Paul without makeup. And they were already into that anonymous bit with not showing their faces. So they had to pay a ton of money, which I guess at the time was a ton of money to them, to get that record. So... Now, they did, bought it from the company. For I, I've heard the legend before, but for, for those of you that don't know, how did Kiss get, only get the name but also get the makeup idea? Uh, they were they were really kind of influenced.